Hi. Now we're quite often asked to find equations of curves given that the curve passes through a point and if we know the gradient at any point x on the curve. So in this example this is typical of the kind of thing that you can get so we'll just run through it. Find the equation of the curve passing through the point minus 2, 3 given that dy dx equals 4x minus 1. Remember this is the gradient then at any point x on the curve. So in order to get the equation of the curve what we need to do is work backwards from the gradient. We need to find y. We need to integrate this to get y. So that's the starting point. So what we can do is say that therefore y equals the integral of 4x minus 1. So don't forget we've got a couple of terms here so we need to put that in brackets and we're integrating with respect to x. Now each of these terms is straightforward to integrate so for something like this we just add 1 to the power so it's already to the power 1 so add 1 to the power you get 2 and divide by the new power that 2. And for the integral of a constant with respect to x it's just going to be minus that constant with an x on the end. So minus 1x or just simply minus x. But the point behind this example is to show you that we need to write plus a constant of integration. And I'm going to call that constant c. But you can choose obviously any letter you like. You could use k. That's quite common as well to find that. OK, so we've got that therefore y equals this particular result. And I'd want to clean this up. We can see that 4 is divisible by 2. So we get y equals 2x squared minus x plus c. Now to work out this constant of integration plus c, I need to know a fact relating the x and the y. Well, I do, because the equation of the curve passes through the point minus 2, 3. So in other words, when x is minus 2, y would be 3. So we need to say that. So I would say that when x equals minus 2, y equals 3. So we can substitute that into this equation here. So therefore we're going to have, for y, we're going to have 3. So 3 equals 2 times x squared, and x is the minus 2. So we've got minus 2 all squared, minus, minus 2, minus, minus 2, and then plus the constant of integration c. So if we work this out, let's just come down here. What we've got is therefore 3 equals, well, this is going to come to 8, and then you've got minus, minus 2, so that's plus 2, so that's going to be 8 plus 2, which is 10, plus the constant of integration c. So if we subtract 10 from both sides, we end up with c equals 3 minus 10, which is minus 7. So therefore, the equation of the curve, in answer to the question, let's put therefore equation of curve, so we can be clearly seen to answer the question. Equation of the curve is going to be y equals well, we've got 2x squared minus x plus that constant and that constant of integration c we found to be minus 7. So there's our answer. Now just to show you what's been going on we've got our axes x and y. Not that we're asked to do this but we've got a curve y equals 2x squared minus x minus 7 it's a parabola. It crosses the y-axis when x is naught, so that would be at minus 7. So we can assume that there is minus 7. It's a positive parabola, so it's going to be u-shaped. It's got a negative x term, so that tends to push the line of symmetry to the right of the y-axis. So we're going to have something looking like this. Coming down through here, through the minus 7, dipping like that, and back up again. So this point on the curve, minus 2, 3, is going to be, say, some point up here, minus 2, 3. 
it's a point on the curve so it satisfies the curve when x is minus 2, y is 3 and also you can check out the gradient. You can see that the gradient at this point, if we were to draw a tangent down through here, it would have a negative gradient. And so when you put x is minus 2 into that gradient function, 4 times minus 2 would be minus 8, minus another one would be minus 9. So it would be very steep here in the negative sense. So hopefully it just gives you some idea to what is happening behind this question. OK, well that brings us to the end of this particular example. In my next example, what I'll show you is different types of notation, different ways that we can word similar kind of questions.